On today's video, we're gonna take this website and turn it into this website. And I'm going to explain to you why this design is so much better, my process for working through it, including making the design responsive. I'm gonna show you the tips and tricks and website that you can use when you are designing websites and you're gonna learn a lot let's rock and roll. Okay, so let's start off with covering what we need to fix here. So this website is called Family Life. It was submitted to me over Instagram for redesign. And it's basically kind of, I think, uh, church, radio, church and events or, or something like this. First of all, the website has a lot of content, right? They, they're doing a lot of stuff, radio, performing arts, all kinds of things. And obviously they wanna focus on events. So they have this slider here that's changing events, but it's just overwhelming. There is too much information, too much text. The hierarchies, which means what is more important here is not clear because everything is important. Like you have big messages and then you have the radio here and then you have so many things going on in the navigation. So it's just overwhelming and you don't really even actually know what is this website what do they do because you're just seeing these events and the actual you know value proposition what they're doing here impacting lives with the message of hope is tiny thing at the bottom so this is we really need to rearrange the information here let's go and let me show you how i'm going to tackle this so we have this radio element here that's playing around and i think i'm going to use the idea that spotify has here kind of like a bar of the radio that you can keep scrolling and you have this alongside with you i think i'm going to do this and I, obviously we need to change the messaging we want to focus on the messaging so that you know we can focus on what they're doing first and some kind of call to action maybe to the events and then find a way to bring this all together. So here's my thinking about how I'm going to go ahead and do it. So step number one, I brought the design into Figma and I'm going to define the hierarchies, like what are the main sections, what are the main messages? Step number two, I'm going to clean up the navigation a little bit and step number three, I'm gonna uh, talk about the imagery and the design of everything. So let's get started. First of all, just kind of chuck out the section for you know the main hero and the radio so navigation at the top main hero message in the middle and the radio thing at the bottom so let me go ahead and copy the uh, message that we have here and then create kind of like the the radio ui really based on i'm literally copying what i see in spotify i think it works well so we have kind of like the album cover we have the play thing in the in the middle and we have kind of like seeing where you are in terms of the radio the other thing is i think who who the presenter is so now that we have these elements i'm also going to bring in the sub heading which is actually a very long paragraph i tried breaking it into two it didn't work well, so I just tried to sh make it a little shorter because it's quite overwhelming to read all of this. Now, I also wanna add a button here, a call to action button, so people know what to do. And again, I saw that they're focusing on their events, so I've created the button, um, see upcoming events. Now, in terms of the navigation, I think that the core thing that they have here, the core uh, items, radio, performing arts, uh, those things are important. Oh, I don't think that we need a home button because uh, most people know that you can click on the logo to go back to the home. And everything that's on top is actually can go into the footer. So the weird thing here is that they don't even have a footer, which is the what we have at the end of the page to show you all of the additional, little less important pages on the website. So they don't have that, so I'm gonna put it down there. Now that we have all of this organized, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the icon. So I'm using a website called Icon Finder, which has great tons of free icons, and it's so great, I can just go SVG, click copy to clipboard, and then just straight up paste this inside Figma. So this works really, really well. Okay, so now I have all of my main kind of like hierarchy and components. And you see already this looks so much clearer. So now it's time to design this. Let's bring in an image that can really create some emotional impact here and help tell the story really, really fast. So before I'm jumping into looking for the image, I wanna think about the keywords. What kind of story am I trying to tell here with the message? So if they are basically saying they are impacting life with messages of hope, so this is a radio programs and all kinds of events and stuff like that. So how can we show impact via message? So maybe somebody is going to listen 
to their programs and being inspired. So how can we show that maybe with somebody with headphones or something like that? Um, well, they're called family life, so maybe family. Um, what else we have here? Um, maybe inspiration or kind of heavenly inspiration. After all, they're kind of like a Christian organization. Now, there's one more thing that I noticed when I looked at their website images and in their Facebook um, photos, which is a repeating kind of element is like these sunsets. So I think maybe that's kind of a way to communicate this heavenly inspiration. So let's add the keywords sunsets and rays of light. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open up Shutterstock, which is the most kind of like uh, affordable image stock that I use and Unsplash, which is completely free imagery. And let's search for family sunset and see if there's anything that's that can be relevant. So I'm going to start scrolling through them. And actually, immediately this jumps into um, an option, kind of like an option, because it has the rays of light, it has the sunset, it has a family, looks happy and hugging here. And yeah, and it's also kind of like white at the top and most of the website is white. So I'm gonna try and do this. So I'm copying and pasting it, but here's the problem. They are kind of like centered in the middle of the image and the text goes over them. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring this image into an image editor. I'm working with Photoshop, but you can use anything. And I'm going to see how I can add this additional space and kind of like move them to the right. So I have additional space here in the left. So one thing I can do is just stretch things. And Adobe has this content aware stretching uh, thing and I can stretch that and that's, I mean, that's okay, it can work, but to me, you know, the bottom part, the leaves, they look kind of stretched. So to me, this image, I don't like this way. So I'm gonna try a different tactic, which is basically just copy this left side and then mirror it so that it kind of fits perfectly. Now, it looks kind of mirrored because you can see that, you know, the plants are just going completely mirrored, so it doesn't look natural. But I can quickly fix this by, if I just take the stamp tool, I can just erase just the things that make it obviously mirror like this plant here or this one here. And now it actually doesn't look mirrored at a glance. I mean, it's not obvious, especially if there's going to be text on top of it. People are not going to notice it that fast. Okay, so this is something that I can actually use. Um, I can organize the text, break it down a little bit more, maybe give it you know, turn, move it to the left a little bit so it doesn't go over the people. And that's actually not bad. I mean, that's, I think that's a solid option. But you know, you never go with the first option. So let's try something else. Let me duplicate this and try something else. So let's go ahead and search for headphone inspiration sunset. Now on Unsplash, I don't see anything that's relevant, but here in Shutterstock, um, they actually give us some images that some of them are potentially can, you know, show inspiration and people, you know, getting messages of hope and stuff like that. Actually, this image that we have right here, they did this very cool effect, which they overlaid, you know, the sunset at the beach on top of his silhouette. And there's actually something that looks heavenly inspiration in kind of this. Now I'm just going to copy this right from Shutterstock, including the watermark before I purchase this, just to test out in terms of the layout, if I like this or not, and if this can actually work. Um, so here we have a very clean background, so that's easy to add the text next to it. And actually looking at these two options here, Actually, both of them, I think both of them are good. One of them is more like a family thing, happy family, and one of them is more focused on the message and you know, you hear the radio show, you hear their, their programs and you get inspired. So both of these messages, they're different, but they're both super relevant. So if this was a client project, at this point I would probably show them these two options and get their thoughts about what they feel is better for their brand. Now, just because we're doing this on our own, I'm just gonna pick one. So I'm gonna go with the headphones one. I think it looks better and cooler. And pay attention, what we'll be doing again and again through this redesign is we're creating options for ourselves and then we're picking the one that we like best and we continue from there. So now we need to actually get into the design. Let's change the fonts and the color so that everything works together. Now, we already have a logo, so I would love to know what is the font 
of the logo so that I can use something similar. So I'm gonna bring in the logo into Photoshop and clean that up so we just have the word family. And then I'm going to save this image and I'm gonna Google what font is this or what's the font, there are multiple services that are doing this. I'm gonna use the first one on Google which is my font. And here I can just drop in the image with the word family and it's gonna look up fonts that are very similar to my image. So the first one is Myriad. You can see it's actually pretty similar. The Y is a little bit different. So the, the original Y is much rounder and we can actually have another option here, I think. Yeah, you can see the one, the first one, Olive Inn or something like that. It looks more like the original one. However, that one costs money and Myriad is actually a free, you know, a free font that I already have installed on my computer because it's Adobe's. So for the sake of this, I'm gonna go with the first one, but if I would, this was an actual project, I would consider getting the fourth phone um, or the, the actual font from the client, right? If they have the font, they're gonna, just gonna give it to me. So let's try and implement this font right here. I'm just writing family life here just to see if this actually looks alike, but I think it works well. Let's create the font and make the heading bold. And I'm also going to use the colors that we have in the logo. So we have dark blue and lighter blue in the logo itself. So. Oh, by the way, this is a, probably a good time to purchase the image so we don't have the you know watermarks anymore because we've decided to use this. I'm gonna use the light blue for the navigation just because it's going to grab less, less attention and allow us to focus you know, more on the main heading here. Now I need to, uh, apart from coloring the uh, paragraph that we have here, I need to change the way, you know, the line height here. Now by default it's set to 120 and for most fonts, 120% of the size of the font for line height can work. But in this case, and a lot of times when the font size is smaller, the smaller the font size, you need more line height because it, it just looks too close together. So in this case, 140 eventually works out for me. So I'm gonna use that and we're gonna set up the button using the dark blue. and give it a little bit more padding so that it looks spaced out nicely. Now, looking at the button here with kind of like sharp corners actually looks a little bit aggressive. Now, this is not like a fun website where I would do like completely round corners, but I can add like five pixels of round corner to this and I think it would make it look a little bit better. Okay, next is coloring the radio element that we have here and bring in the image. So basically going to try to do it blue so it doesn't take up too much. You know, we can focus on the header and this kind of looks like the next section. One more thing that I'm noticing here is that this area here, the radio area is a little bit too big and I wanna make it a little bit smaller and tighter. So I'm just going to reduce the size of this blue thing. And note something like we have a happy accident that just happened here because when I made it smaller and I'm removing the elements down, the image of the, the lady from the radio show actually went out a little bit out of it. And I actually like how this looks because it, it adds kind of depth and it kind of blends these two elements together. So this is kind of like a happy accident because I didn't plan on doing this, but I actually like how this came out. So yeah, this is pretty nice. So overall, I think the redesign is done. Uh, I'm just going to add a layout grid here just to make sure that everything is aligned. All the elements, the navigation, and the text are aligned. So I've created a layout grid and organized everything. That being said, looking at it right now, um, there's something that I'm not sure about, which is the dark color of this um, radio bar. So once again, I'm just going to duplicate this as another option and I'm gonna try some light gradient for this radio UI. Again, I just like to try multiple things and I like to duplicate so that I can compare them to one another. And actually looking at this against the dark uh, radio element, I like the lighter one much better. It kind of lifts everything up that it's, it's lighter, it mixes better with the white background. Um, I actually think it looks much better. So I'm going to keep this light blue UI for the radio. And with that, I think we actually finished the redesign for the desktop. Now you guys are always asking, you know, how do you adapt this to mobile? So let's go ahead and do inspect element here so that we can see how the mobile version actually looks like. And again, it's pretty overwhelming. Obviously you can't even read the text that's on these 
you know, hero for the events. So let's go ahead and redesign that as well. In terms of the navigation, they actually got the navigation right, I think on uh, mobile, which is basically just a hamburger menu to hide out all the elements and add the search. Because after all, there's a lot of things on this website. And if people just want to search and quickly jump into them, it makes sense to leave the search outside. Also, it's just an icon. So it's quite minimalistic. Now, the next thing, I'm going to add here a layout grid just so that I can maintain the, you know, the padding and the gather of all sides here quite, quite equal. Um, now, the next thing I want to do is bring in the messaging. So I'm going to paste it here, make it a little bit smaller, obviously, and break it down. I think the messaging is always more important than the image. So people need to see that even on desktop, it's on the left side, and we start reading from the left side. So we need to see this before and just bring in the image afterwards. So make all the elements a little bit smaller, still readable, not anything below, I don't know, 16 pixels, so that it's still readable. Make the image smaller right here. And we actually were very lucky because we have just the space enough for the radio UI. Now the radio UI has a lot of kind of like text and elements in it right now. So I think we need to kind of minimize it. I don't think that we really need to bring everything. So we can bring the play button and then we can bring in you know, the, the name of maybe of the show, but we don't need the image, we don't need the whole scrub bar, it's just too much uh, on a tight screen where people, you know, don't have a lot of real estate to look at. And they're, you know, we have to minimize a little bit. So once we've done that, looking at it, yeah, it's pretty tight. And I think that overall, the redesign, including the mobile version is pretty solid. I hope you learned from this. I hope Either way, you enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit. My name is Ron Segal. Check out, we have a lot more free resources and courses below. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.